It's me. It's got to be me. Okay. I love you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ABR Squared. It's time for another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. And it is time for JJK uh, Season 1, Episode 11. That's right, JJK Episode 11. Uh, I'm Kyle, my wife, Christine, uh, who has been sick for a while. And before that, our son was sick. And they both kind of overlapped. And I luckily managed to uh miss it but uh yeah so it's been a while sorry that's why content's been a little bit light but there is still a lot of great content here on the channel and that's a good reason to be subscribed uh anime reactions trailer reactions movie reviews podcasts covering anything and everything that you can imagine in geek pop culture entertainment live streams i tried doing some watch alongs with 86 you guys can join those next one sometime in the near uh future uh gaming streams and and more all your entertainment uh, news, needs, opinions, celebrity interviews, uh, all the podcasts and more over at lrmonline.com. And hey, there is Genreverse merch link for that in the description box down below. Babe, how you doing? A little congested, but I'm all right. We are also doing Vinland Saga. I don't know yeah. when that will actually go up, but Brian will be joining us uh, for that. And um, yeah, hi, Kione. You are pushing really hard against this hand. All right. No, I don't want you to fall over and hit buttons. All right, guys, let's do our uh, JJK. Oh, look, Kiana gets covered up by the screen. Now you see her. Now you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's uh let's do it. Overtime. <laughs> Now you now you made him angry. <laughs> Slow down, evil Frankenstein Goku. I know, right? <laughs> and you've got lines marking it all out for him. Attrition is not really, so, yeah, I was going to say, it's not really the best uh, first choice. <laughs> Got your leg. I'm sure he can. What? Ah. 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 Why? Why? Just end him. I know he probably has, you know, some sort of limit that he's trying to hide as, as well or something like that. But come on now. You never leave an enemy sitting there like behind you. Either take them captive or you kill them. Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah. Ah. Rookie move. <laughs> I know he's not a rookie. I know you guys are going to hate us. We're just nitpicking and, and playing off of stereotypes and stuff like that, you know? Get your villain monologuing. Stop monologuing, damn it. <laughs> the good guy's going to get you. That type of thing. That mm -hmm. type of thing. <laughs> uh, what could it hurt right now? Well, no, don't no, say anything about the school specifically, but, you know. Seeing how much you might know about cursed spirits and stuff might might be worthwhile. Yeah. See what he knows. Get information. Spy. Whether you mean to or not. Mm. 
<laughs> oh. No, no, hold on now, 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 now. That sounds like some, that sounds like some, uh, uh, internet, uh, movie fan BS right there. So let me tell you as someone that does internet movie BS, <laughs> Gosh. quote unquote, for a, for a living. No, um, there, there are, there are times to sit there and say, uh, adjust your ex- expectations and horror is one of those great genres where, um, tailoring your ex, there's times where you can, uh, uh, want to go in and get a, a real good cerebral, uh, not just thriller, but something that tantalizes you, you know, mentally, not just in, in adrenaline pumping, um, uh, jump scares. Uh, and then there's other times where you just want a, a gore fest, right? And, those are times to tell someone, you know, adjust your your expectations. You're going in for something that's a, a gore fest. You shouldn't expect character and, and world building mm-hmm. and vice versa. If you're going to get a crap ton of character and, and world building, maybe tone your, your expectations for gore. Although you could still throw in a good amount of, of I know, gore. but when the gore is bad, sometimes it's just so yeah, funny. Yeah. So it's like... Um, and it, that can detract, but... What I can't stand is people that uh, with an existing IP, right? And like, say, Marvel or or Star Wars or Ghostbusters, for that matter. And the latest film just doesn't quite stack up well against things from from the past. And people are like, well, you should just adjust your expectations. No, I had expectations. This particular franchise used to be good. I used to really enjoy it. Those were my expectations were to continue to enjoy what what I was watching. Right. It's still got the same characters or name or, you know, world or, or whatnot in it. But I don't know that type of adjust your expect. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. My my expectations are to be entertained by what I loved if it's continuing, right? That's that's fair, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm surprised that we're back at Ghostbusters <laughs> and ranting about Ghostbusters. Uh, I again. Mar- Marvel and Star Wars, all three of them are are guilty of it. Check mm-hmm. out my Ghostbusters Frozen Empire review here. <laughs> That's dude that was trying to keep low key with the um, fire burning, right? We haven't seen him in a in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not one to try things again and again until I until I learn to like it. Yeah, same. Like beer? No, I've had a lot of different types in multiple countries. I can't find one that I like. I'm I'm done trying beers. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol at all any anymore. And that's not to say that I can't see or or listen to something multiple times to try to uh, figure something out, but I'm not gonna do it in, just to learn to like it, so mm. to, so to speak. Got quite the normal looking mom. (laughs) 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 Well, it's kind to ask about food allergies. Yeah, that's just still. Weird. Yeah. It's like, oh, y'all just met? Hey, you want to come over to our house? Is learn it, where we live? Is and it really that weird? I, For I don't today, know. maybe, but yeah. think about when we were, were kids, and, and especially you and me, uh, you know, being military brats. Um, I, at least I know it was for, for me when I moved to a new area. Uh, you know, Courtney and I were a little bit more outgoing than you. I don't know your, about Corey, how outgoing he was, but we'd make friends relatively quickly, and it would be like, "Yeah, come on over to my house and let's have lunch and stay." You didn't, you didn't have friends like that, not at first. It kind of mm. took me a while to warm up. Um, yeah, like even like my first sleepover with someone was in sixth grade. Yeah. Like I already knew this person. They came over, and she just like climbed into my bed, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" But I didn't say anything, so I was like, "Uh." 
How about we just sleep on the floor? <laughs> it's me. It's got to be me. Okay. I love you. <laughs> you too. Yeah, it's me. The hell? That was weird. Yeah, he shouldn't have left you alive. Be careful, there's always a price. Yeah. And there's just something that is so less badass pushing a button to start versus turning a key. And like, like that, that, it, it, like you're not going to get it in movies, man. Those times where it's like, come on, turn, turn, come, come yeah. on. And that, and that rump that like, um, when, when a car's just been souped up or repaired after years of neglect and they're sitting there turning it and it gets that real slow ch chug before it just turns over and starts like, you don't get that with all this electric crap, man. And that's yeah, like button, pu oh. button pushing is kind of yes, definitely not as cool. Yeah, it's not as not Turn as cool. On. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we got to so get out of here. Din, din, din. Off we go in my lithium battery ion thing that should have made that noise I just made. <laughs> <laughs> Push the button. <laughs> like it's just no. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Told on yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of victims. I, why did you leave him alive? Yeah. Were you, I mean, yeah, you're hurt, but I mean, you couldn't have done more damage? Something. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, pause. <laughs> the worst kind of drunk is the weepy one. Like that no. The 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 giggles, I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, yeah. I, I as your parent though. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean you don't wanna, you know, see your parents drunk this is true. in any way. So this is true. Um, it's just weird. Funny with the castaway reference. That's what I was laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> Parents really shouldn't get drunk in front of their kids either, regardless of age. Not until at least adults, you know. Hiding the face of your dad. Is that because he's out of the picture or because he's... Someone we've seen. Yeah. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be, like, awful. She's yeah. got some, some issues. The occasional... Just a few quirks. Reliance on vices, but maybe she's not too bad. Maybe. I would also I would also wager if you unfortunately have to take a life, if it's fortunately in a let's say just situation, say self defense, um, armed conflict, um 
saving another's life. Uh, that it might in some ways even make your understanding of life. I don't want to say greater, but more like, um, <sighs> yeah, it's like a, it's like a different, a difference between like, r- like reading a book and actually experiencing yeah. the, how hard yeah. something is. And, and you might end up with more reverence for life than, uh, than, uh, um, someone that has yet to have to make that choice or ever face down that choice. Mm-hmm. Um, killing is is a uh, you know it's a thing that is um, going to be different for everyone. No, mm-hmm. I wasn't going to just stop at killing's a thing. It's going to be <laughs> it's a thing that's going to be different for every even people in the military handle it handle it uh, differently. When you talk to you know SF cats that legitimately have scores of kills versus you know regular soldiers that might have been in a firefight or two and have had to you know um uh engage the enemy with extreme prejudice and and to protect their their battles to the left right and themselves but it's it's going to be different for everyone it'll affect every everyone different but i would wager most people that have had to kill in a just situation probably have a higher re- reverence for life um than those that that haven't mm-hmm. yeah but that's different than facing down supernatural people and beings and don't kill your mom Did you actually think about it once? I didn't even clean up. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, shite. Oh, goodness. That's a creepy looking one, too. How did the finger get there? So how did it get there? Oof. Jeez. I mean, staving off the inevitable, not always the best thing either. Yeah. But he, like he's saying, they are kids. Yeah, he's going to be distraught, I bet. Yeah. Uh, He left it. Oh, crap. Bet you he like put it in his pocket or something. No, then why would it be on the table? Hmm? Is he gonna go get a revenge kill on someone he thinks did did this? Yeah, maybe. Here, pause that real quick. I just don't understand. Like, you see bullies who try to get someone else to do their homework. Why wouldn't you find someone who's just slightly smarter than you? Because it's hard to ask someone who's a lot smarter than you. Yeah. Can you dumb this down for me? Like, some people don't know how to do that. Yeah. You know, so. Also, there was a uh, girl in there that could see the energy. So she's yeah got some uh, latent talent. Yeah. To draw them out. Mm. 
So he did give it to him. Look like a bite mark. Yeah. That then started spreading. Damn, dude. Damn. Damn. He's already got some uh, control there. Yeah. Some sort of cursed jellyfish? Is that Maybe. like your Patronus or something? <laughs> okay, so there was no stroll? That was that was it. The stroll was just the uh, the credits there. Okay. Anyways, guys, that was uh, crazy and intense, and uh, yeah. that escalated quickly. Um, Junpei is now like full blown uh, Sith Lord, I guess. Um, yeah. I knew it would be bad, but I didn't think he would go like like that that crazy. Um, yeah, nuts. What you think? I, I just, it's hard to feel bad for the guy. And then also it's kind of like, how do you not know that you're being manipulated? Like, I don't know, you've got this sick, twisted, you know, spirit behind you, whispering in your ears, showing you stuff. Like You should have been able to be like, could it have been him? Because he has something planned. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Yeah. And you've, you've, you were shown niceness by someone that you expect to one day be an enemy are they really that bad i mean yeah. it just it doesn't feel like he's had enough time to be uh um it doesn't feel like he's had enough time to be i don't want to say brainwashed but you know freaking ma manipulated that easily although he does have the bullying issue and things things like that he looked like he had an okay mom. Don't know what his, you know, dad life was. Not that she's perfect or free from flaws. And this is the only stuff we've we've seen. But it's like there's there's a little mish mish mixed mishmash or mixed in and uh, mixed um like situations here where it's like maybe you shouldn't have been this easy to to dupe into doing bad stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe. But then again, they're hiding the image of the dad. Don't know if that, you know, does he have some other trauma besides the the bullying at at school? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. But like you said, it's it's hard to feel bad for someone when they go to that, based off of what we've seen so quickly, so easily. But, mm -hmm. um, and that's not a not that's that's us talking about the character in world, not knocking the character's writing or portrayal yeah. or any of that, guys. It's it's being done well for the most part. Um. Yeah, so uh, you guys should check out more content here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. The live streams, gaming, uh, watch-alongs, uh, other things. We're going to be doing some uh, trivia nights. Brian versus me, movie trivia. Christine hosting sometime in the near future. Anime reactions, trailer reactions, the reviews, podcasts, and more. All of that, plus uh, typed, written, entertainment, news, opinions, reviews, celebrity interviews, and more over at lrmonline.com. Oh, that's Brian's channel. You guys will see him on some other reactions that we're doing. And there's uh, Pulp Mythos. It's usually linked below. And there's uh, merch. Link in the description box below as well. I've been Kyle. That's been Christine. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.